Is it possible to create a Todoist setup that is absolutely basically simple? Find out in this week's episode of Working with Todoist. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week we are going absolutely bare bones basic. Now the reason I'm doing this is because increasingly I am seeing more and more and more complex setups in not just Todoist but in all sorts of different to-do list managers. That's right, I am looking around YouTube very often, quite frequently, to look at what's the lit going on and if anyone has any great ideas that we can put into Todoist. But what I find is that we're creeping more and more and more towards ever increasing complexity. And all that complexity does is slow you down, creates blocks, it causes you to miss deadlines, miss milestones, basically it's just blah. So I'm going to take us all right back to the absolutely basic, basic, basic setup. And the reason I'm doing this is because it might actually give you some ideas about how you can simplify your very own to do it. And really, it doesn't have to be complex. In fact, the more complex your system becomes, the much more difficult it is to get things organized and processed. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can really just bring it down to what would be called a bare bones basic setup that can actually operate in an incredibly fast way. Now, before we go into Todoist, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this episode at all, then please help me by hitting that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want all the latest tips and tricks of Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into Todoist now and I'll show you some very, 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 and I mean it, very basic setups in Todoist. Okay, so this is a really stripped down and simple version of Todoist. And all I essentially have is two projects, a work project and a home project. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, not everyone wants to have a complex hierarchical structure of active projects with sub projects and areas of focus. For some, all they want is a simple to do list manager that can control the stuff they have to do at work and the stuff they have to do at home and have a very quick and simple way of deciding what they want to do today and what perhaps they want to do this week. And Todoist will do that brilliantly and to organize it just slightly, just to give it a little bit of organization, all you need to do is use flags or if you're using the free version, just use flags. If you're, not, if you're using the premium version, you can use your labels and filters to do this. So let me just give you an example. So the way I've got this set up, all you would really need is just a home and a work project. So all your work tasks are in here and that's really quite simple. Keep it very easy and your home tasks are all in here. So they're all in there. So all you would need to do now is at the end of the day, it's always better to do this the day before, is decide what do you want to do tomorrow. So in this case, all you have to do is say, OK, I want to do that tomorrow. So you give that a red flag. That's going to be done tomorrow. Oh, I'll do that one. Uh, that can be maybe done tomorrow. So give it an orange flag. Oh, I'll do that this week. So you can decide you're going to do that this week. Oh, we need to make a decision on that. So I'm going to do that today and so on. And you go down like that. Now, essentially, all you have to do then is if you go into your filters, uh, I can go down here and say off oh, this one is my filter is anything with a red flag is today so I'm just going to give that a add to favorites and that's up there now of course some of you are saying well why not just add a date well that's true you could just quickly add the date if you wish and it will come up in your today view up here but this is just a simple way of deciding you're not having to think about dates all you have to do is say, oh, that's urgent or that's important. I need to do that today. Just give it the red flag. 
and I can go back into my work projects here and I can say okay I need to do this one this is a, I'll do this one uh, maybe do this tomorrow so I'll give that the orange flag so again if you've got uh, you, you've set this up uh, non-urgent today so I've got maybe non-urgent today could be orange you can label these or, or call these whatever you want to do and again I could actually just add that to my favorites which means that it's up here so this is essentially where I'm working from and the good thing is when you add it to your favorites it gives you the number of how many times are in there so I've just got five tasks for the day and I can go into my home one and again I can do all this and I can just add things now alternatively if you want to if you have the premium version and you want to get use of that you can add the labels so I can just go at which will give me the list of labels and I can say oh that's something I need to do this week so I'll just add that one and save uh, this one here I can just click in there and just go at oops at and I can do all oh, that must be done today uh, and again, if you go into your labels, I'll close my filters for a moment, and you can do, okay, this is this week, I've got that one come up. And of course, if you're doing this on a regular basis, then you're obviously going to have uh, a lot more than just this single task in there. And this one is a must do today. So again, that one comes in up there. And again, if you wish, you can just add those and add them to your favorites, which will be all shown up here. So there are a number of ways that you can use uh, to do it in a very very simple non-complex way and all it takes is just a few minutes to set up maybe a few labels or a few filters and you're good to go now for those of you who's thinking well how do I get to my uh, task if I'm only using the flags the simple way to do that is if you just go to the search box and type p1 and hit return it'll give you all your red flags likewise if you go up to p2 it'll give you all your P2 flags, your orange flags, and the same you can do P3. So you can actually pull up the list straight from the search box, which is also incredibly fast. So you don't have to build complex systems into Todoist. You can just collect your stuff in the normal way, which is a really important thing because if you're collecting everything, that means it's into your system. And then all you have to do is decide whether it's a work task or a home task, and you can just drag and drop. And I think just for those of you who may not know that, but you can drop so I can just type this is a work task uh, work task and this is a home task so I've got these two tasks in here so if I come to pro processing in this simple system all I have to do is grab the grab handles right there and just drag it into my work and I can drag the home and then and my processing is done for the day really really simple so when you keep things simple and you don't build too complex a system, then you are actually gonna be a lot faster at processing. And all you need is some way of deciding whether you want to do the task today, tomorrow, this week, or whenever. Okay, hopefully that's given you, I wanted just to go back to basics a little bit this week, just to show you that we don't have to be complex to be organized and to have a really good system set up in Todoist. I hope you found this useful. I hope it's given you some food for thought and I would like to say thank you very much for watching. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery version 3 course has launched. Now this course is transformative it will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is gonna show you how to change that. It's gonna show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's gonna show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course. Have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.